Good morning, YouTube. This is the ADS Chef, and I say morning, and it's like 12.45, and I know it's like dark in the background, because it's it's midnight, past midnight. Um, we were at a hangout today, and uh, this was with G-Man, and actually, I enjoyed most of the conversation. Um, uh, we talked a little bit about hell and about sexism. Um, and the, the primary focus at first was about sexism and we talked about the women's place you know are they equal but separate are they are they secondary and of course you know as most people uh, like it's just Veckel and the Amy girl that you're gonna see in this video for a little bit um, basically they're saying according to the Bible and, and I have and I have to agree um, is that the woman's place is um, you know, considered extremely powerful and extremely important to the man. The man is still the head of the household, but it doesn't make them secondary. Um, now, of course, we talked about this for a good 30, 45 minutes uh, at least, um, and then we kind of moved on to hell. Uh, but right toward after the end um, of that discussion, you know, G-Man had to leave, so we called it a wraps, and this is what happened immediately afterwards. What you hear there is Amy, the girl with the picture of the cat as her logo, uh, she is a Christian, um, and she was referring, you know, as she was talking, and then you hear uh, Raw um, enter in and say, you know, silence woman, obey the scripture. Uh, and you hear her laugh. Because you know we've had this discussion, you know, and you know, and it, and, and everybody kind of thought it was a joke too. But you know, I, I don't really remember what it is Raw's position was when we talked about sexism and if you know the women's, uh, you know, should they have any authority in the church or an authority in the home? But it's it's statements like this that give you a good feel for how he really feels he said you know you were being a good you know you were being good until now uh, or all night as if her as if amy what amy was saying being that either it was being her speaking up or that it was in a disagreement to what ron believed um he was not having uh her speak um so obviously i would have to say most likely he feels that a woman shouldn't be able to speak in church um but just that, that, that tone of, you know, you're being so good now, like, as if this, you know, that was her job. She was, sup or, or, or supposed, she was supposed to be good. Like, she's supposed to be a good little bitch on the sidelines, uh, you know, and not supposed to ask questions. And we're talking about that scripture. Um, or not supposed to speak in church, rather, um, at that point. And, and it's just, ooh, that pissed me off. And I saw your little ugh. In the comments, don't think I didn't see your UGG, a dispensationalist. Oh, come on. If you're, you're religion, go somewhere else. I'm not a friend. I don't. Hey, hey, what? I, I come out of the I don't answer to you, woman. Listen to me. So, Raw gets a little upset because she, uh, Amy showed some dis, uh, dis, the pleasure with the phrase the dispensationalism, which I didn't even know what that meant until they had explained it to me. But you can hear her say, oh, come on, and then I can have an opinion, and then she gets cut off by Raw, um, you know, and just saying, you know, I don't answer to you, listen to me. And so, you know, and, and when I, I hear it and I, and I keep hearing the audio, I just kind of, I get this weird mental image, like I can see Amy just, you know, really, she's always so, so, so meek and so quiet and just, I, but, but, but I, I, I can... Have an opinion, and then Bra just comes down and just bitch slaps her, um, you know, and to try and shut her up. And he's saying, you know, I don't answer to you. Listen to me, um, and 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 ooh, that, that just pisses me off. Um, it just kind of goes to show that just that whole women as uh, secondary or second class citizens, um, just because she had a different opinion, and uh, and he felt. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. I, I don't answer to you. I didn't now, say. Now, take your place behind me. Quickly. Take your place behind me. Now, 
you know, when we talk, we're talking about this and, you know, women, if they should speak up in church and, you know, they're talking about the context of asking questions, if, uh, you know, all this kind of different stuff. But this is not such, you know, this is, this situation, this Google Plus Hangout is definitely out of the context of what the Bible was talking about. And and Amy has every fucking right to be able to have an opinion and say what she wants and, and, and it's not like she's married to Raw or anything. So for her, or for Raw, to cut her off and, you know, sell her to get behind him. Uh, wow, I, I, asshole I, 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 the fucking week no, today. I'll suggest something. See you later, G-Man. Yeah, Run so like a coward. So I don't know much about Raw. I don't see much, his, you know, stuff, but I, I keep hearing all these things that he's not much better than Ran, and, 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 it, and it's stuff like this that, yeah, I can understand why they would think that. You know, that's... I don't know. And now, of course, this is the part where many people go, well, either he's not a true Christian or he can say, well, you know, nobody's perfect. Um, sure, nobody's perfect, but wow. You know, I don't think Jesus really ever would accept or want people to do that kind of things. And, and it's definitely not a, um, a humanistic way to look at things. And, it's, I, and, and I would have to agree that most Christians, the ones in the room between Amy and and uh, Epicurus was there, um, and I, I know this isn't like a, a, a this is a minority view on that. That's okay to treat like that, but man, I, I I'm I'm losing so much respect for many of these Christians that I'm coming across. Um, like, how why would I take their message seriously um, when I, I when I feel that my morality uh, and the way that I handle and treat people is better than that. I, for people that are supposed to believe in God, you know, why am I, the atheist, doing better? And so, and I know that doesn't, not really like an argument for atheism or anything like that. It's, and it's not at all. But why would I want to listen to that? Why would I want to listen to that person? Why would I hold that what they're saying is true? Well, who, why would you witness that way? What message are you showing? What are you conveying? What kind of Christianity, um, you know, they always say they're supposed to be a reflection of Christ, and I know they're not being a reflection of Christ, because that's, uh, I don't know. I, 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 it, it took me a while. I just sat there afterwards, and just I was just kind of just dumbfounded um, at this. But at the same time, I really wasn't. But I, that's all I got to say. I just wanted to show that. Um, thank you again, Skylar uh, Fiction, for um, for recording that. Uh, by the way, this was not—it's not on G-Man's Hangout. Uh, apparently, Skylar was well aware that when when the cameras turn off, that Rod uh, gets to he is very raw. Um, pardon the really terrible joke, but uh, you know, and it's and it's amazing when you think what people do when they're they think they're not being recorded or when they think they can get away with it. There is nothing in the New Testament, nothing that Jesus spoke or that Paul wrote down that warrants that type of behavior towards a woman. You may disagree about the authority that a, wo uh, a woman can have over a church or who's the head of the household. Um, that's irrelevant to this point. The way that you treated Amy and the way I'm sure you've probably treated women before, um, not Christian, and it's not cool. So to Raw, fuck you. This is the Atheist Chef signing off. Peace.